I enjoy wearing heels because I like the way they look. And the higher the heel, it kind of gives you more of a sense of confidence and empowerment. That's kind of what kind of got me started wearing high heels. In the first place, I saw a woman walking through the airport and you know, I heard that distinctive click, click, click. And I turned around and I, I saw this woman wearing you know, a pair of stilettos heels. She just had that look of confidence and empowerment. And I kind of feel that when I wear a little bit higher heel, I feel a little bit more confident. Hey everyone, I'm Lily. And I'm Elisa. We're here again with Hesu Joe for another therapist debrief. And if you're thinking about starting therapy, we highly recommend giving BetterHelp a try. Hi Hesu, how are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're excited to get into another episode with you. We're learning a lot from you. Me too. Watching the interviews, all of them have such different things to bring in terms of their perspective, life experience. And not that I thought this before, but it's always a nice reminder of like, men are not all the same. <laughs> it's good to remember that. That nobody is. Right, right. Nobody's the same. Yeah, so we're here to talk today about Mark Bryan's episode of What's Underneath Masculinity and would love to just kick it off by hearing from you what your main takeaway was. The thing that kept coming to mind for me is something we all hear and we actually all say all the time we learn about in school even is you can't judge a book by its cover. Probably 90% of the people that see me automatically think I'm gay. Just on my, my Instagram account, even though I like on my, my bio, I put straight CIS, you know, male, I still get, you know, lots of messages from, from men or women asking what my sexuality is just because of what I wear. For somebody that's continuously feeling like they're being misunderstood or assumed incorrectly based on what they're wearing, it sounds like there's still a lot of space to grow in terms of how you perceive yourself and how much importance that's going to have over how somebody else perceives you. My encouragement is to continue working on how you can cultivate an understanding of yourself so that you don't really need to have that understanding from somebody else. And those that are able to achieve this thing in life, which is to validate themselves, have the sense of self that's not really shaken up by somebody else assuming something about them or perceiving something about them, that part is just going to matter a lot less over time. Yeah, I think that's such an important process in terms of one's own happiness. If you are going to not conform in any way, whether it's clothing or anything, you're inevitably going to be met with feeling like an outsider and it's going to force you to have to be very internal in your, in your growth. What I'm trying to do is, is get where people are used to seeing a man wearing a high high heels. It could be a gay guy walking down the street wearing a skirt. Or, oh, that's a straight guy walking down the street. To get it where it's just, hey, that's a guy walking down the street wearing a skirt. Why, why would a thing, a cloth that gets cut a certain way, be, you know, why can women wear pants? And a man can't wear a skirt. A businessman, especially a cis man. Like, you know, why? why? It really comes down to that question. Many, many societies and cultures, it has been the opposite. Why in this one is it, is it a terrifying thing to do and, and so upsetting to people? Because of fragile male egos, because of toxic masculinity, the patriarchy, like these are things coming up in mind for me. It'd be great if clothing weren't gendered, as I think Mark is trying to get to that place in some way or another. The reality is dresses and skirts totally are gendered in a specific way. We should have more concerns in this world other than what people are wearing. Me wearing skirts should be the least you worried. We should be worried about racism. We should be worried about wars. We should be worried about people starving. We should, there's more things than worry. The world's not gonna end because Mark Bryan is wearing a skirt and high heels. If all of us as individuals remained focused and prioritized our own behaviors, our own actions, our own responses to our own feelings, rather than trying to take on the feelings or you know missions of other people, or trying to make mm. other people think a certain way or be like us, mm -hmm. That. Maybe we wouldn't have as much of what we see in cancel culture, right? Cancel culture is that person was wrong because they're trying to do or say something or present something in a certain way that doesn't fit my idea of what is, it, what is acceptable. I think you just hit on something so absolutely huge and beautiful. If everyone was able to 
express themselves more freely in their singularity, their identity, we would be more accepting. Right. And also, I think something that for me was interesting that came out of Mark's interview is that like many things can exist at the same time. You know, a lot of the LGBT community uses clothing to express their sexuality. They want to wear feminine type clothing to be able to express their femininity. Mm -hmm. And I don't wear feminine clothes to express my feminine. That's right. where I, that's what I, that's the, the thing I want to kind of draw the line between. If you have a personal goal of authenticity to yourself, you want to stay true to yourself. Part of that is accepting that people around you, people on the outside of who you are, are going to mislabel you. They're going to judge you. They're going to categorize you in ways that don't align with your own judgment of yourself. And I think there's an acceptance of that being okay that's involved with self-truth. If you yourself are certain of who you are and feel good about that person, it really doesn't matter if people are mislabeling you or putting you in a box that you don't agree with. As long as you feel good, if you are overly concerned with people mislabeling, misunderstanding, I don't know if you are being true to yourself at that point. Being true to yourself is an acceptance that that's going to happen. And, you know, if, if you're concerned or fearful of people judging you incorrectly because of what you're wearing, then you yourself are not quite there yet in terms of true self-acceptance. Because self-acceptance doesn't rely on somebody else to categorize you in the correct way. Self-acceptance is, I feel good in what I'm wearing, no matter what I'm wearing, and it doesn't matter what other people think of it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Hasu. There was a lot to explore here. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate you going on the journey thank with you. us. Yes. Extra thank you, because I know this topic is a complicated one. It can go on for hours and hours. And so we just really, really appreciate you diving into this with us. So thank you so, so much. Yeah, you're very, very welcome. And I was going to say the same thing. It's like, I feel like we only hit the tip of the tip of the iceberg of whatever this conversation was. There's just so much that we couldn't yeah. unpack. So I also very much appreciate you for starting the conversation. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you're thinking about starting therapy, we highly recommend giving BetterHelp a try. It is entirely online and all you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. Visit betterhelp.com slash what's underneath to get 10% off on your first month of therapy. That's betterhelp.com slash what's underneath.